Hi, we're checking out some more examples of the comparison test and the limit comparison test. What we have right here is the sum of e to the n over n factorial. Now that one's a little bit tricky. Um, I want to write that as e to the n over, I'm just going to expand out n factorial, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 up to n. Okay, now what I notice here is this 3, 4 up to n, all of those numbers are bigger than or equal to 3. And you'll see why the 3 is significant as a cutoff in a second. So this is equal, this is greater than or equal to, uh, sorry, less than or equal to e to the n over 1 times 2 times 3, and there were n minus 2 factors there, so 3 to the n minus 2. Now, just to make the algebra a little bit cleaner, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 3 squared. 3 squared times e to the n over 1 times 2 times, now I can say that that's 3 to the n. So I just multiplied in 3 squared times the top and bottom so that I could have an n in the exponent instead of an n minus 2. So this in turn is 3 squared is 9 over 2 times e to the n over 3 to the n. So this is e over 3 to the n. So that's the series that I'm going to use as my bn. Remember, an is always the series that you're given. And the point here is that an is less than or equal to bn. And the sum of bn converges. Why does it converge? Because bn is just a constant, 9 halves, times e over 3 to the n. And so when you have a constant a constant raised to the n power, it's a geometric series. And so you look at the common ratio. Well, here r is e over 3. Now, e is about 2.7. I don't know the exact value of e, but I know it's about 2.7. And the key thing there is that 2.7 divided by 3 is less than 1. Remember, 1 is the cutoff to check when a geometric series converges. So we have that e over 3 is less than 1, so our common ratio is less than 1. That means the sum of bn converges, so our smaller series, an, must also converge by the comparison test. Not the limit comparison, this is the original comparison test here. So now it should be evident why I cut things off between 2 and 3 here. I was kind of looking ahead to this common ratio. Um, I knew that E is about 2.7 and so I saw that I had a bunch of numbers bigger than that in the denominator if I cut it off between 2 and 3. So that's why I cut off all these numbers bigger than 3, and I used those to build the geometric series, and then I just had to save the 1 and 2 separately. 1 times 2 just give me, gave me this 2 in the denominator. So that really didn't affect things later on. The important thing was to save the e over 3 and to compare it with the geometric series since we know the geometric series converges and we have something smaller, we can say that our own series converges by the comparison test.